Man, you guys don't even know what I got planned for this video. Let's get into it. What's going on guys? My name is Joe and today we're going to be doing the seven year anniversary worth of Clash of Clans. I can't believe it's already been seven years that this game has been out and it's it's still doing okay, I guess. I mean, I guess we're supposed to be partying right now. Like it's supposed to be party time and I'm not feeling very festive at the moment. We're going to definitely have to fix that. So just hold that thought for a second. Okay, looking like I need a hairdo, man. This is out of control, and I love it. So, you know, it, I, I'm, a, I'm unorthodox. What do you want? I do crazy stuff. So, Clash of Clans, seven years. We got the new season pass rolled over. Prices are back up to normal price. I got $35 million worth of gold and elixir that I'm not going to spend right this second. That's just kind of foolish to spend all that, plus the 369000 dark elixir. So we are going to hold off on that. I do have some king levels that I need to do. And we are possibly going... No, we're just going to go ahead and gem it. You know, my, I live by the motto, uh, do and ask for forgiveness later. I'll ask for forgiveness later when she gets back from Ecuador. But we need the gold pass first, so hold that thought. Gold pass is received, and now we can go ahead and get in there and start working on our wild looking grand warden this dude looks like he's trying to be like elvis or something that's what he reminds me of with that uh with that staff or that super awesome microphone he's got going on that actually looks pretty legit so i'm gonna go ahead and browse through some of our rewards looks like the bottom side gets quite a few handfuls of gems you got five gems five gems 10 gems there uh and then another 10 gems so it's it's, it's kind of nice that they're giving away a little bit of gems for the anniversary that's that's pretty nice that's cool so as you move up through it looks like 15 gems and the upper portion is looking really nice with a book of fighting up there and some other ideas or uh, other items ideas i don't know where we got ideas from so other items and so we get plenty of gems we get some gems down at the bottom and then we are getting stuff at the top so i'm gonna go ahead and start gemming this stuff and we're gonna go ahead and grab that here skin from the very beginning starting out with the party warden I gotta go ahead and apply this real quick let's try not to get too distracted but uh, we've been working with this new warden skin for a couple of weeks now and now we are going to switch it out to the new party warden. <laughs> wow dude what is going on with this guy are you kidding me right now with this this is incredible this guy's got like some serious bling. He's got a seven on it, a medallion with a seven on it. He's got a boom box. So he's just straight up party mode over here. Let's go ahead and gem all the way up real quick. That way we can start applying some of this stuff. One gem boost and then the builders boost. Uh, can we claim those? Yeah, we can claim them. So you gotta be very careful when you're claiming these things. You might click a button that says sell them and I don't wanna sell that stuff. And I'm kind of ignoring the bottom tier. So we don't need gold right this second. We are working up in Legends League and so I am full on gold and, and uh, elixir often. Every couple raids I gotta spend it on some walls. And the wall upgrades are going a lot faster in Legends League than they ever did down in Crystal League for me. So just be aware of that guys. If you are able to push up to Legends League and actually, you know, sustain some wins, it's not a bad idea. That's just my opinion. All right, so we've got 35 million worth of resources and my builders, we got a ways to go on the builders. We got four days on the mortar. We got uh, seven days on a wizard tower and we got nine days on a mortar. So let's go ahead and see, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna probably stack. Let's see if we can stack some of these builders potions. So we're gonna need to get the grand warden up. Let's go ahead and do the grand warden one level so we got 10 levels to go after this is done so we're gonna go ahead and spend that hero book and we do not have any additional hero books i don't believe um let me check that real quick before i continue by saying that statement yeah we are out of hero books however we do have the dark elixir to put our king down but i'm in legends league hmm 
Mm. See, this is one of the things about pushing is that you're like really held to a standard of like, you really need those troops for your attacks. And I'm working with a different army, by the way. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys this in the last couple days, but I kind of found this army on, uh, what was it? Sir Moose Gaming, I believe it was. And I tried it out, very high success rate right, right from the start. I had like a couple of three stars from the beginning. And it's a little bit of a, it's, it reminds me of the Golem uh, bow, uh, bow Witch. But instead, you got ice golems and it freezes everything. It's really, really cool. I really like it, and I'm gonna keep working with it and see what I can produce. Uh, I, I, it's not saying that not discrediting hogs. Hogs are phenomenal. Had a good time with Queen Charge hogs, but I really need to change it up and uh, focus on gaining a lot of trophies and start really, really pushing on this legend push instead of kind of messing around like I've been doing for the last couple for the last couple weeks. I believe it's kind of been screwing around, not really taking it serious. Um, so anyways, we got builders boosted. They're going crazy. I'm going to go ahead and spend this loot because I am in Legends League and I will be collecting more. So I have eight raids to do today. So I'm going to go ahead and dump all of it in the walls. I know this is crazy to some of you to spend this much loot on walls, but we do have runes that we could re go back and refill. So let's go ahead and see how many walls we can knock out by spending all of our loot. Actually, I think, yeah, there we go. So we are spending, we had 35 million. Oh my goodness, we had 35 million. That was crazy. All right, cool. So we're gonna keep dumping gold into our walls and try to make a huge dent in these walls. Seven million, we're down to seven million. And let's go ahead and do another one. That'll put us at three mil. And then let's go ahead and knock out some elixir as well. Do I have anything in the lab right now? Oh yeah, so I am upgrading my ice golem. And I, 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 I forgot that he, was, he wasn't maxed out. So I had to put him in the upgrade. Actually, I think we might be able to finish him with a book, right? We can finish him with a book. Yes. Woo. All right. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade. So my witches are maxed out. My bowlers are maxed out. And my ice golems are maxed out. Golems, I don't really use them that much. Valkyries, I don't really use them all that much. Uh, bat spells are maxed out. Skelly spells are kind of important. We might come back to that one in a second. Let's see what else we got to upgrade. Um, wizards are done. Giants are done. All of our lower level troops are maxed, minus the dragons. I don't really use a lot of dragons, though. I mean, I'm sure I will at some point, but we're not really using them. So we're maxed out all the way across, minus the clone spell. We still got to do the clone spell, and we need to... I'm going to go ahead and do the skelly spell. Um, earthquake spell could be important later on, but I'm going to do the skelly spell just in case because of the hog rider attack that I've been doing in clan war. It's kind of important. It comes in really handy versus the queen and we do not have any more books. So we're going to actually let that one go for the seven days. And I am completely out of gems. We're down to 115 gems remaining and I might end up going back and purchasing some gifts for my clan mates, but probably not in this video. All right, so back to walls. I, I got a little distracted. It was kind of like a piece of candy. I was like, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. So uh, we had to verify what was going on in our lab before we went any farther with our elixir. So we're going to go ahead and spend all this elixir and continue down to two mil. Let's go ahead and burn off our runes while we're at it. Why not, right? It's not like I can't make it back in Legends League anyways. So we're going to fill back up our gold and we're going to fill back up the elixir sure there we go that'll work we're gonna hold on to that dark elixir i might do a king upgrade and just gem him uh oh i hit the button <laughs> i hit the button <laughs> all right so we're gonna do a few more we're gonna do two more of each and then we're gonna wrap up this video guys because it was a celebration i got to spend a lot of loot and actually i didn't spend that much actual money so that's a plus that's a huge plus but we are going to see what all of our builders potions are you know, able to produce. Um, yeah, we just burn off a lot of loot, a lot of loot, but that's a good thing, right? So happy anniversary, guys. If you enjoyed our content today and you wanna see more, click one of those videos over there beside me and that's gonna wrap us up for today. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already and thanks for watching, guys.